my fellow Americans, I've been asked to share with you the State of the Union as it pertains to the young women of our country. While strides have been made, I believe we have quite a journey ahead of us. Young women are still being force-fed the idea that it is more important to focus mainly on their appearances and not their intellect and potential. In the words of Kiki Palmer's song lyrics of Skin Deep, looks are just that, skin deep. Yet so many fall prey to this mentality. According to the Heart of Leadership website, more than 90% of girls 15 to 17 years want to change at least one aspect of their physical appearance with body weight ranking the highest. And 7 in 10 girls believe they are not good enough or do not measure up in some way, including their looks, performance in school, and relationships. As a student in the Missouri School of Journalism, I had the opportunity to watch Misrepresentation in my cross-cultural journalism course, which exposes future journalists to topics of diversity and how they should be handled in the field. The distinguished voices portrayed in Misrepresentation spoke of the importance of women in leadership and other aspects of the media industry. Many colonists of this great country that we now know today protested for representation in Parliament. While I have no catchy phrase as they did, representation must also ring true for women. If I can envision and actually see a concrete example of a personal goal that has been achieved by another, I know that it's achievable and that much more likely to happen. And I be can begin to surround myself with those who have not settled or conformed to the status quo. This is what young girls need in today's society. They need role models, not commercials or videos in which the women are portrayed as subordinate or objects, not images that bombard their mental complexities, degrading the dreams that they had of becoming something more, not even the inhibitions that refuse them the opportunity to use their minds, not their bodies, to accomplish goals. But there is hope. I implore not only the President and Congress to initiate these changes, but to each and every one of you. It also has to be something citizens of this country support and want to change. If not, legislation will just be writing on a paper that has been approved by select few and not implemented by many or all. Girls today should have the strength of community combined with their own in order to overcome stereotypes and roadblocks. I would ask that a fund be created to support and or create organizations that are committed to reaching out to young women and pulling them up. I suggest a cross-country tour of positive role models, both renowned and unsung, who will visit schools beginning at the elementary level, churches, and other programs. I wholeheartedly believe it will have more of an impact if a young woman can see positive positivity at a young age. The role models will speak to children not only abroad, but also in their own communities. What it, they will talk about what it took to get there, what they do, and where they are going. Most of not all role models should be willing to set aside time to mentor at least one young girl. As they get older and begin to form more concrete career and life goals, the organization should do its best to connect them with someone who closely reflects those aspirations. This large network will be the support system needed to mold future leaders and thinkers. It is often said, be the change you wish to see in the world. I like to add to that, then go out and change it. Let's be about it, America.